Okay, we are going to calculate the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus a over x instead of the parentheses and then raised to the bx power. And let me tell you guys that this is a rather famous limit question. We will see this a lot, especially if you are in Calc 2. You will see this in the sequence and series section quite often, alright? And usually I just call this the fact in my calculus class so that I can refer to this limit as a formula, alright? And my goal right here is that I will show you what this is going to be. And you will see we can end up with a nice formula right here. And for my class, you can just go ahead and call this as the fact whenever you are encountering this limit question, right? But suppose you have to do this from scratch, then just make sure that you have this kind of limit. And suppose you are doing the limit as x goes to infinity with 1 plus 2 over x inside, and then raised to the 5x, for example. Then you can follow the same exact step right here, and be sure you just change the a to 2 and the b to 5, and then just work it out that how am I going to do it for you guys right now, all right? Okay, so enough said. Right here, first step, we should plug in infinity into this x and that x and see what we get. Let's do that right here. We will have 1 plus a over infinity raised to the b times infinity power like this, isn't it? And right here we know a over infinity is just 0, plus 1 is just 1 inside. And then raised to this power, I don't know what b is though. b times infinity is infinity. But if b is negative, then this will be negative infinity. But it doesn't really matter of the sign. Let me just put down either plus or minus infinity for now. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. Because when you have 1 to an infinity, either positive infinity or negative infinity, this right here is no good in the sense that we have to do more work. This is one of the indeterminate form, alright? So we cannot draw any conclusion right here. We cannot say the answer to this is 1 or whatsoever. And now this is the work that we have to do for this. And at the end, we'll come with a nice formula and I'll show you guys with a quick example. Okay, here's the idea. I'm trying to find out what this limit is, right? But I don't know what the answer is. Suppose I do know, so I would just say that L to be this limit. So L is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus a over x raised to the bx power. Okay, right here. This is hard because we have the x in the base right here, right? And also x in the exponent. So whenever we have a function raised to a function, this is the usual things that we do. We are going to be taking the ln on both sides, just a logarithm on both sides, and usually we do with the ln. It's nicer this way. Okay, let me show you. On the left-hand side, we will just have ln of the limit, right? And keep in mind, this L is going to be our answer. And on the right-hand side, here is a small detail. We have ln of a limit, but ln is continuous. So this is the same as saying the limit of the ln. So let me just write it down for you guys first. ln of a limit is the same as the limit when x goes to infinity of the ln, and I can put the ln inside. And once again, we can do this, it's because ln is a continuous function. And we will just put this right here, which is the 1 plus a over x raised to the bx power, and I'll close this, and I'll close that, okay? And now here's the best part, because we have ln of something to a power, and you see, I can bring the power to the front, right? By one of the ln property. And now let's just focus on the right-hand side. I will still have to write down the limit as x goes to infinity. Okay, we open the parentheses, put a bx in the front, and we multiply by ln of this. 1 plus a over x. And now, this is what we have. And by the way, do not subtract the 1. This is not a power rule. This is just the log property, right? Bring the power to the front. This is what we have now. And now check this out. If I plug infinity into here, b times infinity, and as I said, I don't know if b is positive or negative. It could be either way, right? Well, either way, we will have infinity. And let me just put on infinity. Plugging infinity to here, we get a over infinity, which is 0. Plus 1 is 1. 
ln1 is 0. So in this case, we have an infinity times 0 situation right here. And this is also no good because this is also indeterminate. We have to do more work for that. And it's OK because I'll show you guys how to take care of this. We will focus on this x here. And we will have to write down the limit as x goes to infinity. And by the way, of course, a and b, if they are 0, is super easy. So do not put on the comment and say, what if b is equal to 0? If b is 0, then it's really easy in the first place, right? <laughs> anyway, right here, I have this b. And then multiply with ln of 1 plus a over x. For this x, I circled it in red, right? I'm going to drag it down to the denominator as following. When I put this x down to the denominator, it becomes 1 over x, like that. Check this out. You have this over 1 over x. You can put it here and then flip it, and you have the x on the numerator, isn't it? So this is the usual trick that we do whenever we have infinity times 0 situation when we're doing limits. OK, now, once again, we'll do a quick check. When I plug in infinity into the top, you get pretty much uh, 1. And as I said, that will be pretty much 0. Plug in infinity into the bottom here, we get 1 over infinity. This is also 0. So this right here, we have a 0 over 0 situation. I know this is still indeterminate, but this is much better because we can use Laputal's rule, right? So I can apply the Laputal's rule from here to here. And by the way, if your limit equation was in terms of n, n goes to infinity, and then you have the n here and n here, just change it to x so that you can take the derivative legitimately on the top and also on the bottom, OK? So right here, let me just put this down in blue. I'm going to differentiate the numerator, and I will differentiate the denominator. I still have to write down the limit, though. So this is the limit as x goes to infinity. Let's focus on the top. This is b times this. It's just a constant multiple. Therefore, the b stays. All right? And differentiate this function. The derivative of L no something is going to be 1 over whatever we have inside, right? So we can just put down 1 plus a over x. And however, the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Derivative 1 is 0. Derivative of a over x is negative a over x squared. How can I do that? Well, a is just a constant multiple, so you can put that down right here. And you ask yourself, what is the derivative of 1 over x? And we should just know that by heart, because you're in calculus too, right? I assume. The derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. And you put the a, because that was a constant multiple. That's it. And we can practice that again right here. What is the derivative of 1 over x? It is precisely 1 or well, negative 1 over x squared, just like that. OK, so thanks to the Laputal's rule, this is what we have now. Well, let's do this. On the top and bottom, as you can see, we do have the x squared factor. So you can just cancel them out, but I will just show you guys as following. Let's multiply the top and bottom by x squared, x squared. But I also notice that this is a negative, right? And I also have the negative here. Let's multiply both sides by the top and bottom by negative a, x squared, right? So let's do this. So on the bottom, this and that will be canceled. It, and negative and negative becomes positive, right? So that's also nice. And now let's see what do we have out here. Still have the limit as x goes to infinity. And let's check out the top, all right? On the top, you see this negative and that negative become positive, so cross it out. And the x squared, x squared also cancel out. And on the numerator wise, we have a times b. So let's put that down right here, a times b, OK? And then this is the denominator, which we put down over 1 plus a over x. And you notice that earlier, I just multiplied negative x squared was because I want to cancel this out and that. That's all. Yes, I know I still have a complex fraction, 
but it's okay because I can just plug in infinity into here for this x, right? So let's see what we have. And I will just write this down. This is equal. I am going to plug in. I'm not going to write down the lim anymore because you will see this is a times b over 1 plus a over infinity. Well, on the top is ab. On the bottom, you see this is 1 plus 0. So I will just write this down for you guys real quick. AB over 1 plus 0, which is AB over 1, which at the end is just AB, isn't it? Okay, the answer though, it's not just simply A times B. Because, look back here. This was the result after we ln the both sides. ln of the answer L, this right here, is equal to AB, right? So we will have to write down ln L is equal to AB, right? Let me just put this right here now. I need to solve for L. So of course, I can just do e to this power, e to that power. So that this and that cancel out. Therefore, L, which is the limit that we're trying to find, is equal to e to the AB, OK? So let me just put this down legitimately for you guys um, right here. The limit as x goes to infinity, you can put down n or t whatsoever, of course, right? Anyway, we have 1 plus a over x to the bx power. This right here was the l, and we found it to be e to the ab. Therefore, this right here is just e to the ab. And I call this the fact, okay? I just want to give this a name so that we can refer it to. And now, let me show you guys with an example on how, how we can use the fact to help us calculate this kind of limit real quick, right? So let's see. Okay, suppose we're going to figure this out, the limit as n goes to infinity with 1 minus 2 over inside and then raised to the 3m power. And sometimes we just want to figure this out with a quick way, right? And this is the perfect example of utilizing the fact right here. However, I do want to make a note right here first before I continue. If the question is asking you to show all the steps, to show all the work, be sure you repeat what we just did earlier with all the algebra steps, all the calculus, all the Laputov's rule, all the stuff, all right? But if you just want to find out what's the value of this quickly, utilize the fact as following. First of all, we see that we have x, x, x here, but here we have n, n, n. It's okay, as long as we have the variable match like this. The variable, the letter, shouldn't bother you too much. And now we have the 1 and 1, they match. That's good. And what's the a value though? Yes, I did put down plus a earlier, and this is minus 2, right? But I just have to notice that a happens to be negative 2 in this case, isn't it? So let me indicate that here we have the minus 2, and that's exactly the a value. And let me just write this down. In my case, a is equal to negative 2. And now you see the b in our case is just 3, isn't it? So let me just put this down right here for you guys as well. b is equal to 3. Once you identify the a and b values, you can just plug in. You know this right here, it has to be e to the negative 2 times positive 3, because that's e to the a b power, just like that. And now, of course, we can totally work this out. This is e to the this times that, which is negative 6. And if you would like, it can be slightly fancier than this. This is the same as 1 over e to the 6. And this right here will be the answer for that. And if you want to be really, really fancy, you can say this right here uh, is the answer by the fact that we have right over there. However, this is particularly for my students because, once again, I just want to give this particular limit a name so that we can just call on this whenever we need to. And when we are doing this kind of limit in the series or sequence situations, seriously, sometimes we just want to find out the answer to that kind of limit quickly. In that case, please utilize the fact and this is totally okay. If you have other professors or whatsoever, be sure you show all the steps that I showed you earlier in the first part of the video. Anyway, that's it.